Hello everyone, my name is Michael, and I want to show off an epoxy granite CNC mill that I made. Uh, I showed it off at a recent Maker Fair, but this is the first time I'm actually posting anything about it on the internet, on the YouTube. This is it right here. It's not running just yet. I'm actually still waiting on a, the correct ball screw here. This is the right distance, but not the right uh, diameter, so it doesn't in the connector between the ball nut and the plate. Uh, meat. It's actually there's too much space in between, but that's another story. So NEMA 34s, uh, Skyfire spindle, machine head, which I'll make a whole video on how I got uh, a 1.2 kilowatt brushless DLC motor from uh, Ding Tuo. I'll, I'll post a parts list still eventually. I want to get a bigger one because this is actually rather tiny, but I'll explain in a minute that my electronics have the potential to pull a lot right now so here it is now eventually I'm gonna weld a stand to put it on to put legs on and everything this is the first version there are definitely improvements to be made uh, this is out of my paranoia just in case this falls off but it's been like that for about a month now and nothing's happened so I'm probably gonna take that off uh, I need to go get a are you anything gonna make the motor mount with this or I'm gonna go get a, I'm gonna go plasma cut one in my local maker space I actually had another one plasma cut but I made it too small anyway so yeah that's it hopefully in about a week I'll post videos of it actually machining it's been really fun to make and uh, I have still have to indicate everything and I just I just assembled it not too like a month ago and I haven't indicated anything in I have a lot of room and places to shim where the connector plates and I can shim there. There's a lot of places to shim. So here are the electronics. Uh, 1000 watt, 120 uh, VAC to 60 VAC. 20 amp breaker, 5 amp breaker. I've had to get a 5 volt and a 12 volt DC because these uh, breakout boards are have, need a 5 volt input as if they were plugged into a PC, but I don't want my PC to be connected. I just want the only thing to connect to is a parallel port. I'm using Linux CNC software, by the way. Uh, I'm actually going to make a skin and make it very similar to Pathpilot because they're almost the exact same thing. Um, M880Hs. This is the driver for the Brussels DLC. That's 1.2 kilowatt. This is only 1,000 watt, but yeah, RFDMI. DIN rails, uh, this it's a normal plug, I forgot the name of the plug. Right now I don't have an e-stop, uh, but eventually this will be um, replaced with the normally closed, and then it'll be the same thing, so that switches off and then everything cuts off. That's always the last one to cut out. Um, and yeah, that's, this is just a really general first quick look at what I've been making. Um, questions about it, please uh, feel free to ask. There's the power draw bar over there. Uh, right now it has a Morse taper on the inside. Uh, it was cheaper than the R8. I'm probably only going to get R8s from now on, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, hopefully in a minute I'll get the uh, I'll get some videos. All right. Just one last look around. Thanks for watching.